All right, so we just got to check out Project Alloy. And while it's clear that Intel's merged reality program is in its early stages, what they had to show off was pretty impressive. Let's go see it. So what you have here is Alloy first generation. It consists of two DS4, or the current generation of our RealSense cameras. It has an Atom processor, which processes the computer vision off that. It has a Skylake processor, which handles the application processing, all into an all-in-one unit. All right, cool, just put this guy on. The first thing we like to show is people uh, bringing up their hands and having an immediate awareness of the virtual presence, uh, additional embodiment sort of capacity of being able to see your own two hands in virtual reality. This is, it's not just finding something that's close to me, it actually knows that these are my physical hands. Correct, it is segmenting it from the rest of the environment. And now we use a, a sort of geometric algorithm to be able to interact with the hands. So for instance, um, each side of the box can respond to uh, the direction in which you're, you're pushing. So for instance, you can just swipe the box right off the table. This is all, all of the tracking that's happening is happening right in front of, right at the front of this headset? Correct, so, so there are no markers in the room, there's nothing, uh, there's no pre-mapped environment. You should have full um, ability to walk around the space. And not only that, you can bring new things in. I grab my phone, if you will, and touch, it, touch the lay with my phone. So you can actually do it with a different object. The simple aspect of being able to see your hands and see yourself in a virtual world is a profound implication on, or experience on, on, on putting yourself into a virtual world. The, the market is still evolving. It's evolving from AR, it's evolving from VR, it's evolving from, from merged reality, it's evolving from PC connected, and it's evolving from, from mobility. For, I think it's difficult for anyone uh, in any, any one of those aspects to really determine what the end game is going to be, but I think you're going to see a tremendous amount of innovation in all those different areas, and Intel certainly is participating in all of those. So the real sense trackers that they're using uh, are some of their main technology components, and they can actually bring your hands, bring other people, a lot of real world uh, situations into your virtual situation. Uh, a lot of cool stuff going on. Uh, it's cool to see them experimenting so early with virtual reality, uh, and we'll see where it goes from here.